Hi everyone, welcome back to the Review the One YouTube Gaming Channel. My name is Joe and this is a video and tutorial about Windows Live Movie Maker, a software I mentioned in my recent tutorial about some cheap software you can use. If you're on a Windows computer, you already have this editing software. I'm going to show you guys the four basic things you can do in this software to make a very good cohesive video, which you can upload to YouTube straight away. Now, I'll be doing this with some gameplay footage, but the, uh, the techniques I'll be showing you in this video can be applied to any kind of video you're making, from music to music videos, from vlogs to even editing gaming videos. So so guys, there's four things I'll be talking to you guys about in this video. Um, in the description box below, I'll leave the links to all the cheap software I mentioned in the last video as well. And also it's some time skip things, uh, so you can skip to the appropriate time in the video that you guys want to learn. So, let's go ahead and start getting into this. So the first thing we'll be talking about is cutting and splitting. Now this is basically, you're cutting from one scene of a video to the next scene of, of the video. This is commonly used in vlogs, used in gameplay all the time, and it's just such a basic thing to do, and it's so easy, easy to do as well. So once you've imported your footage, simply by dragging it into this sort of storyboard here, um, cutting and splitting is actually very easy to do. So all you have to do here, you you, you get your mouse, and you, you can literally just drag along. See this black line? You drag that along, and, and it will change on the screen there as to what part of the video you are in. To split, all you have to do is go to the part of the video that you want to take out. So say we go here, you right click and you hit split. Right there, between there, as you can see, there's now two different sort of story, or two, two different movies here because you split it in half. Right there is a split. Now, for me to cut to a, a different part of the video, what like I normally do in a lot of my gameplay, I just skip a bit forward even further to where I want to start again and I split. Again, right click, split, delete the video there that, uh, that, that you don't want, delete that, and you can see that you can cut from one scene straight to the next scene. Now that is a basic tool, and if you're editing videos, that's all you really need to do when you, you, you're making your first or YouTube videos. You don't need any crazy effects, stuff like that. This is just really basic stuff, but the best videos on YouTube are basic, and this is a basic skill. Now, I've seen a lot of people buy really expensive software, like Adobe Premiere, uh, Sony Vegas, and all they do, and all they know how to do is just cut and edit and paste. And for me, if you can do that here on Windows Live Movie Maker, why you get, why are you buying all this, all this very expensive software? Um, if you're just doing this, you know, I use Adobe Premiere, but I use it for a lot more other stuff as well for movies for more detailed editing. Uh, but for Windows Live Movie Maker and for making basic videos, this is all you really need to do. So guys, right there is cutting and splitting. All right, guys, so the next thing we will be doing now is uh, called transitions. Now, transitions on Windows Live, on Windows Live Movie Maker uh, is under actually under um, animations. Uh, basically, at the start of a video, you may see with some videos, it might fade into the videos, such as this effect here, as you can see, it fades from black, fades into the actual video itself. I do this a lot on most of my videos, because it, look, it looks quite nice, it looks quite professional, it fades in. For me, um, this, isn't, this, this is a very simple part of the tutorial, because it's just about you sort of um, experimenting. There's so many uh, different transitions um, you can do, uh, for more like uh, reveal ones, more cinematic ones, uh, dissolve, there's all sorts, and I think you can actually download more as well for free online. So have a look for the ones that you really want to use, and this just gives it a bit more of a professional touch. So to use it, all you have to do is, you know, go to what part of the video you want to do, and so let's say we go to the front here, you want to do a fade in, just click the fade in effect, and immediately it's already there. It's so easy, and it's done for you. So guys, basically that is some transitions um, and some animations as well. So say you want to go up to here and make a transition, you, you see here it goes up to the animation transi transition panel, and you, you can see both clips are changing into each other, and it's just so cool, some of these effects that you can do, and there's so many of them as well. Look at this one. You know, I can't even do some of these on Adobe uh, Premiere, which is quite interesting. But guys, that is basically a transitions. It's that easy to do. So guys, go experiment with it, find what, what works for you, and uh, yeah, enjoy. It's really good fun, so yeah, give it a go. Now guys, one thing I also put in my videos, um, after you know, after I edit and stuff at the start, I normally put a little thing on the bottom of the uh, video saying, you know, come follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, stuff like that. On here, on actually on uh, Live Movie Maker, it's actually very easy to do, and it's called caption. So you click caption there, and it already appears here. You can animate your captions to so say, I just want to put in my Twitter link here. So you just literally click on the screen. And you can type in, you know, at review the one. Whoops. At review the one right there, 
on Twitter. You can drag it anywhere on the video, so I'll put it there. You can edit the font, you can bold it, you can make it as big as you want as well, look at that, or as small as you want. So this gives you a lot of flexibility, and you can put it anywhere on the screen, and the cool thing is, you can get these automatic transitions, so it does appear how you want it, so I'll put that in there. So when I play the video, I play that, look at that comes sliding in and is right there on the bottom of the screen. So that for me is the best way to do uh, transitions and captions and stuff like that. And then lower thirds, things like that is so easy to do. And that's why I love our Windows Live Movie Maker. It makes it so easy. So guys, if you are struggling with, with editing software, this thing has everything for you. So, so that's how you do captions. I get a lot of questions about that as well. So I thought I'd include it in this. Even this very basic thing to do. But I think most of the stuff I'm showing you guys, um, you guys would probably have already gotten the hang of it already. It's that simple. So let's move on to the next thing. So guys, say that you've done, you finished your video. Here's a nice, here's just the start of the video which I, which I edited in and you're done. You're ready to export. You want to get this onto YouTube. There's a few ways you can do this and there's a few things you need to know as well. So you finish your video, be aware and you should probably know this on the size and the resolution of your video. This video here is in uh, 1280 times 720. That is, uh, that is the usual size for a YouTube video. And yours might, might be bigger, it might be smaller. Just keep that in mind. So you can do a few things when you're exporting. When you go to share, you can click YouTube and it will ask you what resolution do you want to go for. Obviously, the bigger resolution you choose, the bigger the file will be and the, and the longer it will take to, uh, to render and export as well. I prefer to do it a different way. I prefer not to just go straight to YouTube. I prefer to go to save movie because uh, here it will actually save it. Uh, with an MPEG or well, with an MPG file, um, and it will save it for you in that way, and you can choose where you actually want to save it. Uh, there's more ways you can do it. You can save it, you can drop down, you can save it for your computer, Windows 7, you can save it in 1080p. Uh, it's really flexible in the way to do this. You can also even create your custom settings as to how to do it as well. So it's completely up to you guys how you want to do it. For me personally, I just normally click save movie. Um, and I just save it as that because if you save it as it is as as it is um, here on the file It'll come out as, as you recorded it um, And that is, it's it's really that simple to do guys and you can save it to where you want to save it on your computer And you can um, just drag it into YouTube and start uploading so guys those are four basic things um, That you can do on Windows Live Movie Maker to make a very very good YouTube video The first 300 400 videos of this channel were all done on Windows Live Movie Maker So guys it's on if you're on Windows you already have this software It's ready to go it's um, easy to use I'll be making maybe a part two of this series where I go into a bit more depth with different things you can do Especially with audio adding music stuff like that but guys comment down below if this has helped you guys If you have any questions I'll answer them in the comments contact me on twitter and facebook all links in the description box below and i'll answer all your questions towards this check out my other other tutorials as well those will also be in the description box below and guys hopefully this does help comment down below as well if you want me to do anything else in a part two of this tutorial series thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time